Hi, it's Larry Herb, Xbox Live's Major Nelson, down here in Los Angeles, reminding you to tune in Monday for the Xbox E3 Media Briefing. You are not going to want to miss this. But first, let's take a look at Xbox One exclusive Sunset Overdrive. Howdy, I'm an omnipotent voice from Insomniac Games. Today, I want to introduce you to our newest franchise, Sunset Overdrive. It's a mature third-person shooter set in a unique open world. It's high action, fast paced, and takes the concept of the boring copy-pasted shooter, flips it on its ugly head, and lets you do the impossible. In short, it kicks ass. Up till now, you've only seen a CG trailer, but today, you're gonna get to see the real game. Story time. It's 2027. Fizco, a good old greedy corporation, just released its hot new energy drink, Overcharged Delirium XT. Now there's a mutant outbreak. Keen minds will probably connect those two events. But lucky for you, getting around just got a whole lot easier. Traversing through Sunset City is all about one word, velocity. Jump on a car, grind on a power line, run along walls, all within a matter of seconds to get a tactical advantage against enemies. Plus, it's a hell of a lot more fun than cowering behind a crate. But who else are you gonna see around the city? Are there other people embracing this apocalypse like you? Yup. You're gonna see factions like Troop Bushido, which are a group of adventurers who now abide by ancient samurai culture. Or the Fargoths, live action role players whose fantasy all of a sudden becomes their reality. And there are a lot more memorable characters as well. All right, now let's talk about the more shootable inhabitants of Sunset City. There are a lot of enemies in Sunset Overdrive. Introducing the Herker, who actually throws smaller od at the players. Or the Blower, whose arm is fused with the Leaf Blower. And that's just a few of the enemies that are gonna kill you. But even when you die, you're gonna love it. Welcome to Next Gen Respawning. It's not gonna be an insomniac game without an awesome array of weapons. For instance, there's Captain Ahab, which lures enemy OD'd in for an easy kill. And there's the Roman Candle Gun. And there's the TN Teddy, which straps little bitty teddy bears to full sticks of dynamite. And from there, your arsenal's just gonna keep getting bigger. Quite simply, it's madness but it's the kind of madness that fits perfectly into the world of Sunset Overdrive. Wanna feel more badass? Cue the amp system. Amps are special abilities that you can add to your character. By utilizing traversal in combat, your amps are gonna activate. And there's over 50 amps to choose from. Wanna have a chance to cause a nuclear explosion? Slap on the twist of fate. Or the air dash. Or just summon a twister. This combination of traversal, shooting, and amps is the core of Sunset Overdrive. And that's something we really want to emphasize because for us, this is what makes the game stand out. Yes! Stay down! This is only a tiny slice of the pie, but we're gonna wait till later to show you more. Get ready to die at all. For now, this is Sunset Overdrive. And in a lot of ways, it's the game that Insomniac has been building up to for 20 years. I mean, it takes all of our strengths and just combines them into one explosive, irreverent, stylish, and totally unique package. Thank you all so much for your time, and remember to follow us on Twitter and Facebook, or go to sunsetoverdrive.com for more information. From all of us at Insomniac Games, see you next time.